My name's Diane. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Round Show. Thank you so much for joining us. This week we are with Lynn Ruth, the Treehouse Lady. Hi, Lynn. Hello. It's great having you back. Thank you. This is Lynn's fourth show with us. You yes, do, it is. Yeah, you do such a great job and you have so much talent that we love having you back. What are we going to be doing today, Lynn? Well, we're going to be doing a painting from a photograph that I took in 1997. Wow. It's of Capitol Lake. And I, I was real fortunate to do to come up with this beautiful photograph. It makes a beautiful painting also. If you would like to look at it, it's on the table here. This is the original photograph. Okay, maybe we can get a close-up of that photograph. And you say that was Capitol Lake. Capitol Lake. That actually is not even there. That that was before the earthquake. And everything's oh, and been every, now? everything's rearranged now. It's no, it's no longer Oh, like, so the earthquake really changed the landscape that on that much? area. I think that was Heritage, or what? that's what Heritage. That was a section of Heritage Park. That was Park, uh, huh? on the other side of the lake. By ah, um, oh. well, is that the painting that we? That's the photograph. That's, that's the, the photograph. photograph? And, oh, yes, how that's beautiful! The photograph. Isn't that beautiful? But then the, we opened up a painting that was very similar to that. that that's the painting I did of the photograph. Oh. And I didn't put the ducks in because on that particular painting, you can't really tell that those are ducks, but those are ducks. And um, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of the park, but it's... Her Heritage? It's on the opposite side of the lake mm. from town. From town. Actually, I don't think that is there. And what I did was I, I, I made it, enlarged it, and made it into a placemat. I really... Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Isn't that fun? Do you remember what kind of film that was? <laughs> Nothing uh, special. Oh, you was know, it I was doing a camera. No, no, I was doing. I was doing uh, oh. thirty-five millimeter. Then I had a high school student. Uh, <gasps> she she painted it, and she did it in dots. And she's just really it's like an impressionist. Isn't or that something. beautiful? Isn't it gorgeous? So is that? Is that? Um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? A high school student. So that's a painting of your photograph. That's a oh. painting of my photograph. Behind me, there's so another do one. But we can look at that in a minute. Was that watercolor? Or? This is done with what we're going to work tonight with is tempera paints. But oh, tempera. this particular girl really enjoyed working oh. with dots, and and dots make an impressionistic look and. Uh, just a, it's just really, oh, isn't wonderful. that gorgeous? I think, okay. So what I did was, I know, I, I want to teach some technique tonight, mm -hmm. but what I did was I prepared it for you bef so that we wouldn't mix colors and make mud. We want to mm -hmm. mix, we want to make it beautiful and alive okay. and make pure color. And so what I want to show first of all is how to set this painting up is really, really simple. I'll do it here and then I'll show so you've gotten a, mile, a lot of mileage out of that one photograph. <laughs> Can you call it your muse? A, a muse probably has to be a person, doesn't it? Ah. Could it be a picture? Um, you know, to, to paint, to start painting this particular photograph, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, just I, hold it, and our excellent camera people, they'll take care of it. Oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. And what you want to do is is um, this. These two boxes are the hedges, mm -hmm. and this is this is the entrance into the painting where the trees go. Mm. And everything above it is is trees, foliage, and in between here is the lake. Hmm. Um, you know, when you paint, you don't have to put a whole lot of effort in drawing it. You do a lot, just to oh. a few lines, and you have oh. it. So that's, that's all the drawing that's you're going to do. We're it. do for that's all now you I have to do. I thought you said you prepared. Oh, I pre that's what I you prepared, prepared for it. me. What I did so, was, oh. I prepared this for Diane. I did one for myself, okay. and all it is is green and black, and that's the shadow. And the shadow is essential to a painting to make it become more dimensional, 3D type. So you started by penciling this in and then making this shadow. Absolutely. Okay. So we are already we are really ahead of the game. Now we have we have all the trees are in shadow. All of the mm. all of the um, the bushes are in shadow. And the shadow is sort of a blackish green. It's black or? and green, and that's okay. it. Very easy. Now all we're going to do, Diane, is we're just going to paint. We're going to paint the water. And I wanted you to pick a brush. This is a pretty good brush, mm -hmm. but but I I like technique, and I use technique like. Um, like this, All right. do you see? Okay. And I come across here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that one. What do I do? Okay. You can use that one. And our palettes are just paper plates, I see. Your palettes are paper plates. And this paint again, did you say what it was? This is a professional grade tempera paint. Tempera. 
and I see I forgot the white. Is this so the I'll, brush I'm doing? I'll so I just it. painted it. So below? this is just the lake, and what you do uh, on um, um, you need a base color, and of course I would say the base color is. Let's make. I'm going to make mine blue green. I like blue green. You can make it any particular color you like. So a straight blue wouldn't be realistic looking. Well, usually, usually when you do when you do this sort of thing, mm -hmm. a combination color is best. And you say blue green, or it looks like your former student used blue she, green. She used blue green. I think yeah. she did, did blue green. I left a little crack right in here because that is actually lighter, and I'm just going to go like this, and I'm going to put some life into that, okay. into that right there. Like that. Can I put brown in the water? Or no, am I saving you that? Can, I'm going to put black in the water. Uh, oh. Down, down by. If we see right in here, see, mm -hmm. see how dark that is. Mm -hmm. That is blue black. And I'm gonna, just going to put it like this. When you were taking these pictures by Capital Lake, did you know when you snapped <laughs> that no. shutter that you were going to get a picture like this? No, I didn't know. I did not know. Well, it's just. Really beautiful. Do you prefer the painting over the photograph, or? Um, no, I don't think anybody can outdo God, and that is definitely a God thing. Mm -hmm. The the it's just so uh, unbelievably spectacular, and I'm very lucky to. That's that's unbelievable. To yeah. even to even come up with that's it. That's unbelievable. If, if that's you look cool. at and it, even have the white sparkles. If on you them. look at it, you can see the um the that it's based on on. Um, stripes one two three four five stripes mm -hmm. and it, uh, just spectacular now i've got way too much black on here so what do i do about take that? your paper towel and just wipe it off right in the so i shouldn't keep adding paint i should take off yeah take if you put too much black oh that's gorgeous no keep it on there <laughs> keep it on. <laughs> now, here that's take a paper towel and just rub a little bit of it it's very very beautiful oh you're so kind so okay I'll so just blot some of that off. That's it. And I do have a problem with these techniques in that I don't take the time to wash my brushes. I'm an impatient artist. So I just get out there and go with it. Okay, so that's what we've done. We've filled in now the the lake. The lake. No, and this this, this this lake comes down a little bit. It hits the hedge about halfway, so it'll become it'll come down about there. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I'm going to I'm going to go down now into the um, the entrance way where the where you come on to it and come into it. Okay. The portal or the Okay. And I'm going to make it brown and orange and yellow. Actually, the original picture has a lot of white sparkles from the sun. Do you remember what time of day it was? Those are not white sparkles. They're not white sparkles? <laughs> those are ducks. Oh, those are ducks. Those are those ducks. White sparkles those are, are ducks. ducks. <laughs> okay. And what I found is is that um, people, when you paint, it's an emotional response to paint, and it's the emotional, it's a tactile thing. You're touching, mm -hmm. and 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 in your touching, you are actually uh, experiencing a, a stroke, and and you can either go like this. Is what I do often. I often do that. And that's a, a good way to do it. Mm. But also, there is a stroke thing where you can come on top and actually lay. If you can just see how I lay a stroke, I come in and I just take and I pull a stroke across on top of the base color, which was orange. Mm -hmm. And I just pull it, and there's some kind of a therapeutic thing about, about it that makes you feel, it's satisfying to watch the stroke and to feel the stroke of paint. Hmm. I can't explain it. I think that's a little bit of art therapy. So I like these colors. Now, isn't that, isn't that attractive? Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Is that OK like that? you got to lighten it up. It's a fall. It's kind of, it's, see, oh, look, look at it. You, you gotta, that's your base. Let it dry a little bit, and we'll come in and put your light on top. Uh -oh. 
The one thing that I find is so wonderful is that you cannot make a mistake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you really? Can, you cannot <laughs> make a mistake. You I'm go, you this, just, though. you go over it and mm -hmm. adjust it, and it's like clay. Now, do you use books a lot? No, not too much. Really? So not you don't, much. you we, don't look at books? And... Oh, we use books to, to, we pick pictures out of books. Mm -hmm. Is that what you mean? Yes, we use well, books. Well, that, do you, do you learn, are there books that you would recommend for beginning students? No. No. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't because, really? because what, what I've done is developed a technique that works for almost every style of painting. Okay. And, um, uh, I, I know other styles, but this seems to work for me and my students. Was I supposed to switch brushes, brushes, brushes? Yeah, that between would be, the blonde. Would be. Where are you right? Where are I'm you? I'm right? pretty dark. Where are I you right it. now? Just take this and wipe off a little bit. All right. Okay. Well, um, how did you learn? Did you how, study Anderson? Yeah, you I did. I went to um, Evergreen, and and I also went to the University of Washington and studied art. So you have and an I, art major? And, and I love uh, the Impressionistics. Uh, but you didn't study any, no self-study from books? Oh, well, sure, we did it when we were in school, sure. Yeah. And, um, and then after, after that, I thought, you know, I really want to go ahead and see if I can do this. And, and my friend was a very, very, very talented artist, and he impressed on me this, and... Uh -huh. I, and you've developed your own techniques. These are my so these much. are my techniques. I'm, that are used. They're used. Other people use them. Uh-huh. But they seem to work, and they're, and they're very. It's a very effective, very fast, and um, and able to do able to to do impressionistic paintings and realistic paintings and just enjoy it. And not, not worry about it. Like, oh, I did this wrong. Well, you didn't. You didn't do it wrong. Mm -hmm. Plus, the more you do it, the more you learn. Yeah, you're very supportive. You don't, you know, I, I tend to think everything's, you know, got it wrong. And you, <laughs> no, you have a way of saying, oh, no, that was good. We made a no, waterfall once, I remember. There's no wrong. I don't know if we've ever done tempera paint. I've done this show for years, and I don't remember ever doing tempera paint. Yeah, this is what we use. Yeah. But what I, do water, what I water, oil, or uh, acrylic. Um, oh, what I what I found is that oil paint is is um, is, la is too labored. And I'm gonna you give you. I'm gonna give you. Do you have got, got the round yeah, Honey, it's too wet. Let it dry a little bit. Let's okay. go. Let's go up here into the sky. Now, what color is up there? We have black. We have. We already have kind of the black right there. So okay. We, so what we need well, is. Well, I'm seeing red. Well, we see the red. The, we, see, we see the red. But you see what? See the next color is the green. Do you see the? No, I don't see that. There's the spots of green. Okay. See that? Real small. So what we're gonna do? So we're gonna make it bright. Oh, and then you add white to make a color a brighter. A little bit. A little bit of white. A little bit of green. Hmm. A little bit of yellow. You make it bright. And that, that kind of gives, gives it a lift. Can I show this to Oh, that's Paula's pretty. That's very, quick. very pretty. Still doesn't look like anything, though. <laughs> I think it's kinda, going to. I mean, you're <laughs> such a good teacher. It's kind of dark. Okay. We're, We're about halfway there. we got 15 minutes to finish this up. Are we okay? Up. Are we okay? I um, guess so. You're amazing. I would like you to look around here, and, and while we work on this, I'm going to let yours dry a little bit. Okay. Um, um, this painting over here, this large painting, the, the one on the far left? Uh-huh. That's done by an eight-year-old. That's incredible. Is that pretty? And Did they do that in your studio? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And that, that particular painting... Um, eight years old. So it's a waterfall. It is a waterfall. In the fall. In the fall. How long did it take that child to do that? One lesson. One lesson? Maybe two lessons. Eight. Come, Can sorry. I ask which school they go to? Uh, Do you know? I don't remember. I wonder if I know the student. I don't remember. But it's interesting. Her name is mm. Jennifer. She's eight. And her brother, uh, they've studied with me for two years now already. Mm -hmm. She's nine, maybe. But she started mm -hmm. when she was seven. 
Oh my goodness. And uh, she did this beautiful piece, and then her brother did this one over here, and I... <laughs> Which one? The one right behind you, and that one, oh. that one is a little bit more challenging, and he, he, he complained a bit, uh -huh. but uh, a, beautiful, a beautiful piece. Brother and sister, brother and sister. But what we do on oh, this... And now, uh, how old? A nine-year-old did that one? He's 11. 11. Okay. He's 11. She's nine. I think she's eight or nine uh -huh. now. And then right behind me is a, a series of paintings, of small paintings. And one little girl is eight years old, and she did the one did we're doing well. right now. Oh, my God. I wanted you to do this. This is the bright stuff, the light. And I want you to do it like that, all in there. Okay? I think you already did it, and well, that's good. I in, like the way you the did white. it. Fill in the white. Oh, I fill all the white? Yeah. Um, do you think that our artistic talent runs in families? No. Really? I think that not mm. I think that people think that mm -hmm. and I think that it that some that they it, the reason they don't know about it is they never bother to look. <laughs> so I think that we all have artistic talent. Hmm. And we all have to and we all So you don't look, think some have more than it. than others? You some have that? more than others, absolutely. Oh, right. Absolutely. It is genetic, but uh and, but What was it, that word you said? It's what? In inherited. It is. Oh, it's that inherited. wasn't the word you said. That I said some of It's more. inherited, but oh, you, I bet you said genetic. It isn't necessarily inherited. inherited. Do you know what I mean? Well. Look what I do. See, look at this. Watch how I put it on there. Do you see the? Look at the dots. Do you see the dots? Beautiful. And you, I'm going to give this to you. I want you to make these kind of dots. Mm -hmm. These dots are prints. This is prints. Prints. It's a print. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See the? I mean, I'm not pushing in, and I'm not pushing into it. Okay. We're going to start out with that, and we'll finish up. Here we go. Okay, I'm hoping that they can see this process all right. They should be looking at you. You're the master. Should I, should I put it up there? That's where we are now. And, um, Boy, that looks nice. This, again, we're painting from a, a photograph that was taken in 97, did you say? Yes. About 10 years ago of Capitol Lake. So this is just a process. And, of course, yours. <laughs> Be great if they could watch yours. Okay, let me find some white. Here we go. So I'm going to. I just want a little bit of like that. Okay. Okay, not pressing in, just making sure. Oh, darn. It's. You can do it. There yeah. it is. Stay low. Like that. Stay low. Uh huh. Is that okay? That's okay. Do I need more paint on the brush? No, you're good, I think. Really? Keep going. There you go. There's a print. See the print? Those prints are leaves in the distance. Ah, okay. They're not the exact same color as this, but that's fine. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to skip down here. Okay, Dan Diane, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you orange. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you the orange. And it starts it's orange and yellow. Uh -huh. It starts right here and it goes into the water a little bit and looks and it looks like that. You know what? Use this. There it is. And that's going to be the orange? Orange, orange, and This isn't yellow. called stippling, is it? No, this is not stippling. This is laying. I don't think this is working. Here, use this one. We'll switch. Okay. And I'm doing these. We're, gonna, we're doing the... the the yellow that falls down into the water, do you see that? We're going to first put a little orange on it like this. Okay. See, watch me, honey. See how it goes down into the water? Oh, your paint looks a lot different than mine. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now stop. Now we'll let, I, that, we'll let that dry. We're going to go, now you dip into the red. The red will, oh, that was a good the picture. Red, okay. The red will ac accommodate any other color. Okay. And, and you're going to make prints. And... I, I'm going to do this. Way on top now. It's on the top, but I'm, I'm going to leave a little black, the black below. Hmm. Wow, there's actually a lot of color in this. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, you know, that's all deciduous. You would think that was a different part of the United States almost, that picture. You that's wouldn't really think pretty. that it was um, that's really Olympia. Pretty. You're pushing a little bit too hard. A little too hard. See? We have five minutes to, to wrap this up. Is yeah. this going to look like trees? Go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> go, girl. 
Oh, so now so I'm what my I wanted to do is I'd like them to look at the uh, look at the pictures behind me while we do this. There are some really pretty uh, small paintings the kids have done with me, and there's one of a oh, it's a kind of a, a mill like a, a water mill. Where's that? It's right behind you. Oh, it's isn't yeah, that, right behind you. Look at the, that how one? beautiful with that. With the blue, there's a lot of light blue. Isn't the that gorgeous? Shirt. Mm -hmm. How old was the student that did she's, that? Um, she's 13. Wow. She's 13. I think that's really lovely. And then there's another one that's by an 8-year-old by the one, what we're doing right here. Okay. I'm going to show this a little bit. Here it is. Here's, here's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. But it still doesn't look exactly like trees, but it's sure getting there. Yeah, we're going to put a trunk in. Yeah, what, that's you need is all a, what you need is a point of origin. And the point of origin is the trunk. Ah. Uh, now on top of this, watch this. So what's that called? Um, that is this foliage right here. Okay. The, the so each one of those are like little leaves. Each one and, of them. And so I'm not. I'm not pushing really hard. I'm just pushing softly. I'll switch. You can have that. What am I doing now? I'm doing yellow three under minutes? the orange. Three minutes. Three minutes. Wait. Three minutes. Wait. I, <laughs> wait. 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 You just take it away, girl. I'll take it away. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. This, we want a finished product. I hope they were able to, um, I hope the home audience was able to follow the process. Oh my gosh, that made all the difference. That made, do you think mine's going to look like that when? If you practice. No, I should be saying. Have kind of a, um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I just work, just keep, continue to work with it to develop it into so practice really does make perfect shape it and shape it and mold it okay okay what do you think of she's he's laughing looks, at. he's laughing at my painting <laughs> better not be loud at that Jim let me see I'll show it to Paula she won't laugh how's that see. Paula so the point of origin, they've got to see yours. Oh my goodness. That made the all point, the difference. The point of origin is mm. it, things need to know where they're from and where they're going. And nothing will make sense unless it knows where it's from. And mm. so in your mind, if you look at a painting and you can't see what, what, what it's related to, it doesn't work. But if you put the trunk in, and all of the parts fit together, then it becomes meaningful. I should have, I, it's, it's kind of hard for me when I first get the paint on. We might have to start closing in a second here. And they don't okay, need to see mine, a, but if you could just hold yours, you can just put it right down here on the table, and then I'll bet you they could just see it. Can you guys do that? that? Yeah, just balance it on the table. They can, I can hold it up there. They'll get a close-up of it. Wow. Thank you, Tom Dubuque, for directing this. And uh, thank you to Jerry Julian, to our new friend, Paula. Hi, Paula. Thank you for joining us. And to Jim Elder. And I want to also say hi to Mr. Feeney and bye to Mr. Feeney. And hi to my friends at South Bay and old friends at Pleasant Glade. And thank you. Yeah, thank Ruth. you very much. Yeah. You bet. By. And this show, in case you didn't notice in the credits, it was done in memory of Steve Elder, a former friend. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to give you a little hand. Um, <laughs> a little hand. What, what are you...